Okay, welcome to Movie Zoo Play Plus. First thing we're going to do is we're going to go to create. We're going to create a character. That's the first thing we want to do. We're going to uh, teach you how to bring in a weapon and put it on a character. Okay, so we'll just create a regular guy here. All right, there we go. I'm going to move the camera around so you can kind of see. Remember to move the camera, um, mouse buttons. Um, click once, moves up and down. Um, left or right click, moves you side to side. Both clicks moves you up and down. Be a little touchy sometimes. All right, so we get a generalized idea. All right, now you double click the character, and it brings up an open box. Now, on Movies Who Play Plus, um, we have imports. That's the only way you can import. But we want to click on the right hand or left hand, either, either one. This little box here is your import. Double click that. First, you want to go to Movies Who um, site and go click on Assets, and you can download stuff from there. It'll be on Windows 7. Um, it's under uh, Documents Downloads. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna we're going to bring in a Zod rifle, so they're an ASE file. So we're going to go ahead and uh, click on my, I've got mine in separate folders. So we're going to my Zod rifle right now. We're going to double click it. Sometimes it pops up twice, as you can tell. It's going to pop up. There we go. Now it's going to take a minute. It's going to say the map stage empty the world. Don't worry about that. It's nothing big. Now the problem is, is that the rifle is going to point towards his head when it comes in. It comes in kind of backwards. So we're going to change just that. But you only have one shot at doing this because once it's done, you can't re-edit the weapon. Like the weapon stays in his hand. Like you can't double click the weapon and edit it. So this right here, this rotation where I'm at right here, we're going to change this top line and we're going to move it to the left to spin the weapon back around. Once it loads. All right. Zoom this all the way out. I gotta wait till it fully loads. There we go. Now we're loaded. Now we're gonna zoom back in so you can see the weapon. Now see how the barrel's facing his head right there? We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna spin that right around. Just like that. It's pretty easy to do. There we go. Just like that. Alright, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna close that because we're done with that. Now we're just gonna show you that the weapon doesn't just sit there, okay? It moves with the character. So we're going to prepare camera actions. Okay? And we're going to just click on any one. It doesn't really matter. And we're going to do like conversation so you can see that the weapon moves with the character no matter what he does. Let's see. We'll move the right hand. As you can tell, it moves with him. No matter what he does. And see, it stays down when he's moving his other hand. See, it actually moves. Thanks for watching. Hope this helps.